about promotions. First, we're going to start by doing the launch activity, and I'm going to pass you around the sheet of paper. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be folding it in half, and you're going to decorate the front. Um, the, the following task up there is going to be about your the last book or movie that you read. Okay. So you're going to follow the four tasks that are listed. You're going to start by identifying the key figures in your story, and you're going to use them as a focal point for your book jacket. And I have some art materials up here for you. Okay, you're going to create a visual image to look a movie. That can be recognized from across the room, so it needs to be the main figure in your book cover. You're going to identify the target market. You can write that on the inside of your cover. So the target market is who is the movie geared toward. Young, old, middle age, low income. Okay, and then you're going to be, you need to be ready to um, show your book cover to the class. And then you're ready, you need to have at least three talking points about your book cover. So you need to be able to tell the group at least three things about the book cover. So I have some art materials. nice that these stickers give you double H's. It'll be perfect for you, Holly. <laughs> yeah. One million H's in my Thank you. 
best <laughs> colors to work with. It's supposed to be a polka dot cake, but you know, it kind of looks like Donna. So. Uh, What is the three targeting points you're looking for? Like, you can talk about the target market, your image, what the book was about, what the movie was about. Uh, There's three things in your mind that stick out about the book or movie. Harry Potter. Ooh. Total. You had Harry awesome Potter fan. So, my target market is preteens, teens, and adults. Um, Harry, there's seven books in the series, and Severus Snape is my favorite character. Three things. Yeah, I really shouldn't think of anything, but ten. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> <laughs> ten. Um, target audience. I would think of being a young adult man. Um, he's a little friend to this man, and he talks and he likes to party. And I hate that movie, y'all. That's really awful. <laughs> 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 okay, mine was um, movie big. Yeah, good movie. And that is the little uh, arcade wishing thing. Yeah, and it was uh, the demographics would be kids, youth to preteens, I guess, boys and girls. Um, oh, oh, I I love Tom Hanks. So, um, and when he went to New York and being scared, even though being a big person, I thought it was real. Trying to say, my movie was nonstop. I just watched. Oh the no, movie. you didn't. I did. I so this find target it. market was young adults and older. My mommy let me see it. It was about a U.S. Marshal who was told he was hijacking the plane based on two other individuals who was texting him on the plane saying every 20 minutes someone was going to die. And he started doing crazy stuff so they thought the U.S. Marshal was the one who hijacked the plane but come to find out it was two passengers. On the Spoiler plane. alert. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is the movie Interstellar. It's a spaceship and a black hole. Um, the movie is really, really cool. The target audience is, is sci-fi people, but it really, it really targets towards everybody. Um, the three talking points. Um, I like the sci-fi stuff a lot, and it was about. Um, it was based off of the scientist's theory that was he was really smart and they based a lot of the movie off of it. So that's what I said that the, the plot was really good, the effects looked really well, and uh, Matthew McConaughey I think is a really good actor. I, just uh, I didn't follow directions. Oh. I'm a bad student, so this is my cover. Two guys, one's shorter, one's taller. You could put the name. And then there's like a jail in the background. And then it's the table at the yard for the jailhouse. <laughs> and it's from the movie Get Hard. Yeah. I was also got to see with my parents because it's 17 and above. And it's basically how to survive in jail. But you had to know ethics as well because, like, they put them in jail for something that you didn't even do. Oops, spoiler alert. <laughs> and it turns out that um, he, and it's about friendship because it turns out that Kevin Hart, the little guy, and then Will Ferrell, the tall guy, became friends in that. Oh, that's great. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And T.I. was in it, too. Oh, yeah. Big uh, Cat in the Hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Seuss. Like totally. <laughs> wow. Uh, my three key points. I can see the resemblance. <laughs> the target market of uh, children and families. Uh, Dr. Seuss was the author. And I had to read this book to my little brother to get him to go to sleep. <laughs> okay, I wasn't paying attention to the direction. I didn't either. either I'm with you, girl. But I was thinking about spring at a beach, then um, I had to think of a movie. And I don't know if y'all can look at that. Jones. Yes. Oh. I needed a red one. Um, but, what did I say? Upside down. 
Um, I said it was scary, and it's the target would be people that like action movie suspense. I did mine on the movie Home. I haven't seen it. Do you, does everyone know this movie? Yeah, my Anna, so cute and Jennifer Lopez. So I said that the target market were um, little kids and adults like me who like to watch kid movies. And it was about a girl, I think, and her new alien friend and her cat finding their home. And the graphics were incredibly amazing. Like, you could see the flyaways and the curls. It was fantastic. Put your hands in the air. Like, like you just do, do not, not care. care. Yes, it was everything. <laughs> I want to see And that. I have to Home. 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 Oh. All right, so if y'all can't judge my abilities, I actually am kind of artistic, but it doesn't appear that way in this moment. So, <laughs> this is... What? A cake? Birthday. Yeah, birthday. birthday cake. She thought it was a cow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no spoiler alerts here because I'm actually just starting the book. But it's called Three Wishes, and the target market is, I would say, middle-aged women or stay-at-home moms, even though I'm not really staying at home. <laughs> but <laughs> and, uh, um, it's about triplets on their birthday, and it starts off in a restaurant, and the triplets get into a fight, one of them is pregnant, and the other throws a um, fondue fork at the pregnant one, and it sticks in her belly. So. Oh. Oh. It starts off really good, but I you know, have so much homework right now, I can't read it. So. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But you're about to Right. Um, I just watched Flowers in the Attic, and it's geared for adults, and it's about four siblings. Their mother had an incestuous relationship with their father, and um, she was ashamed of them and locked them in an attic for three years. Oh, oh true story. It's a book. You know, yeah. Is it true? I don't think so. I'm not sure it's true. For somebody, it is. It's true somewhere. <laughs> I did insert it. That's the book cover. Mm-hmm. Um, it's for kids, adults. Actually, it's really written for like preteens or whatever, but it's turned into adults and everybody likes it now. And it's a society that defines its citizens by their social and personality related affliction with five factions. Okay. Because we have. Oh, wait, so we're going to finish this one. Okay, so the things I want you to consider about the book cover is these are things that stand out to you and that the author or director of the movie are things that are trying to get their message across. And that's what promotions are about. Promotions are about persuading you to buy the product, getting their message across. This is the whole idea behind a promotion is to persuade you to buy the, the product. So a book cover is one of the first things we see or a movie, you know, a movie poster is one of the first things we're going to see when we're going to see a movie, when we're buying a movie, or, you know, when we're buying a book. I know a book cover makes a big difference on actually whether I would purchase the book or not, okay? So that's the reason why I chose the book cover. So we are going to have an abbreviated lesson on promotion today. Okay? So these are our essential questions. What is the role of promotion as a marketing function? What are the types of promotion? What are the elements of a promotional mix? Okay, so we are going to abbreviate our lesson because of the um, because of the assembly, and we will. I would have showed you the YouTube video that I have on the goals of sales promotions. However, since it's abbreviated, we'll just skip on to our assignment. Okay, so the assignment for this lesson evolves around the different types of promotion. So this would be the end result of the assignment that we would do, and um, but prior to this assignment, we would actually complete a worksheet where we decipher different scenarios and different types of promotion. So this would be our final assignment, and what this is, it's called Sell Yourself to the Sharks. So this can represent the different types of promotion. So outside is going to represent personal selling, so these are going to be all things about yourself. So like the student that completed this, her name was Tara, she was in the band, she played tennis, she wanted to go to Georgia, she considered herself an artist. So these are all... Oh, she likes shoes. Yeah. And shoes. 
These are all going to be things about yourself. And then the inside, these are going to be examples of promotional items that you would that you would find around your house. Okay. So I'm going to pass out a worksheet that talks about the product. It also lists different um, personal items, uh, promotional items that you could. Um, Miss Mom. Yes. What were the promotional items inside that she had? Like I saw a highlighter. Yeah. So there's a list here on yeah. the product guidelines, and it tells you about different promotional items. But businesses, um, the inside of the can represents advertising and publicity. So businesses sometimes will make hand out promotional items as a publicity, and sometimes they may be highlighters or pencils or different things like that. Is there a camera in there too? Yes, camera. So that, promotional items can be so many different things. So they could be a camera, I've gotten chapstick as a promotional item before, gum, have you ever got business cards. cards. Yes, I have. I have to. I got one. Yes, ma'am. Um, what's a koozie? Am I saying that right? K O O Z I. -E. Yes, a koozie. <laughs> There's one sort of around here. Keeps your drinks. Yeah. yeah. Keeps your drinks. Cold beverages. Yeah, it's like a little cover that keeps your drink beverages. Oh. She's too young for that. My cold drinks. So during this lesson, it will help you tie in the different um, elements of promotion while you're making the can. And then in the end, what you'll actually do is you'll present the can yourself, selling yourself to the sharks, which will be made up of a panel of our classmates. Okay. So you'll be graded on your presentation and the components that you put into the can that related to promotion. And there's a rubric on the second page. Do the sharks have to judge us? No, they're not judging you. The teacher is actually going to be grading the presentation in itself, which the teachers make. Okay. <laughs> so can we use a bigger can? You can use any size can you want. It just doesn't need to be the small. Can we use a trash can? Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> it needs to be big enough to fit, one, to have at least 15 promotional items that you can share with the sharks. But it needs to be at least big enough to hold quite a few things. If you have to set some stuff outside of the can, that's okay. But, you know, decorating out the side of a garbage can might be quite extensive. <laughs> Anybody have any questions about your project? So if our time wasn't limited, we would all start on our projects today and continue at home to home.